So we have been out here all of 10 minutes and Jamie is hooked up to her first inshore fish and it's a red. Oh, he's under the boat. Nice. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Woo! Oh. First red bit, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So if you watch the show pretty regularly, you've probably noticed something's different. And that would be my intern, Jamie, is no longer with the show. Now, I don't know, a lot of people have had some theories, many of which were pretty offensive and really kind of disappointed in me. I always like to think of my followers as typically pretty good people, but anyways, nothing bad happened. Her internship just ended. She's a young girl just starting out her career and she has moved on to some other things. You can follow along with her and her journey on her blog at jamesleecosta.com. But in the meantime, I thought it would be cool. I've got some kind of archived footage from her first time fishing inshore in Louisiana for redfish, speckled trout, all these fish. Uh, really fun time on an NRS shoot. So check it out. This is kind of my official send off to Jamie. Thank you for everything, for all the laughs and good time and hard work that you put in over the four or five months we were together. And uh, yeah, enjoy it guys. So I'm back at one of my favorite places to kayak fish, PAC Kayak Rentals here in Montague, Louisiana. I'm here with the NRS Fishing Team and JK Media House, and we're here to gather some content for the freshly updated fishing apparel line from NRS. And we gonna try to catch some fish. I got a prescription for some happiness from Dr. Robert down the street. All right, so we got about a mile, mile and a half to go to get to where we're gonna fish. We're out here again this year with Jameson Redding, Brooks Betty from Jackson Kayak, JK Media House. And they have been kind enough, gentlemanly enough, to offer Jamie and I a little ride out to the spot. Because the wind's in our face, the tide's in our face. And it is a workout. And time is up the S. Time is up the S. What? Don't worry, it'll be worse for me than it is for you if it goes south. Riding in style now. So we have been out here all of 10 minutes and Jamie is hooked up to her first inshore fish and it's a red. Yeah! She's never caught anything that lives in here. These are all gonna be new species for her. Oh, he's under the boat. Just take your time. I would sit down now and get your, get your net if you can reach it. Yep. Nice! Yeah. Got him. First red bit, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. I did, he came out. You got it. Okay, okay, okay. Five minutes into Jamie's first day fishing inshore and there is her first redfish, a pretty decent one. They croak, they croak. Yep, that's why they call them drum, red drum. So we're out here for this photo shoot. Brooks Betty's kind of coaching her on how to hold the fish, angles. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> nice. Did not take long at all. It's not only gonna be a good Yeah. Day. Proud of you, dude. Hey, nice yeah, work. Super sexy footage. Five minutes. Took you five minutes. You're all worried. I gotta catch a fish today. Pressure's off now. All right, so Jamie just got her first redfish. She has not really caught any of the species that live out here, so everything's gonna be a new species for her. Really exciting. She was stoked, did a great job, did it all on her own, no help. So we're fishing, but at the same time, everything, you're on? 
Jamie's on, look at that. Came off? That's okay, just make sure you set the hook. They got harder mouths than bass, so even if, if you don't set the hook right away, Jamie, like you kind of don't, just it's okay to, while you're fighting it, kind of give it a little, you know, don't go crazy, but give it a little jerk. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, if you set the hook late, that's, it's still effective, so. Yeah, fish on on the spook. Uh, feels like a red. Yep, yep, red fish. <laughs> Not a big guy, but there we go. First little red out here on the uh, NRS Heron inflatable paddleboard. Topwater spook, the water's really high, really muddy, so unable to sight cast. So I wanted something that can make some noise, get their attention. And there it is. Topwater spook, kind of my one of my go-tos, getting it done. Beautiful little red, just a little guy. Yeah, kind of broke the ice, maybe starting to figure out a pattern, something they'll hit on. <laughs> Here we go, keep throwing the spook on these grass edges. See if we can't pick up some more. That was a fun fight, he exploded on it. He actually missed it, missed it the first time he came for it, so I sped it up real erratic, and boom, he came back and just annihilated it. That was fun. There we go. Boom, look at that. Two casts later with the topwater spook. And there's another red, it feels a little bit better. Not a big guy, but uh, yeah, they're here. They're liking the spook. He's not much bigger, but he is bigger. And I see some more activity up here. It looks like redfish. But yeah, we're getting the pattern dialed in now. This high, muddy water, again, you want something that can, you know that they're gonna know that the bait's there. If the little guys will hit it, the big guys will definitely hit it. Let's get it going. There he goes. I don't think he knew he was on hook yet. So guy Dan Schaefer, a guy in uh, New Jersey, we were throwing spooks for Striper. And he taught me a good trick to bounce the rod butt off your forearm and it really kind of helps pop it back and it's a lot less fatiguing on your forearm and, and grip it really allows me because i mean after a while of left-handed working these spooks you know my forearm starts burning bouncing it off your forearm like that really kind of helps do half the work for you it really allows me to throw this thing for a lot longer and they're liking it right now both those fish hammered it just exploded on it this is a good sign Saw him crashing bait over here along this grass line. But right here at the opening to this kind of broken up marsh, right on the edge of this deeper kind of main channel. Oh God, he's under my anchor. That's not good. That's not good. Um, um, got him, got him. Woo, woo. Sketchy. Oh God, he's going right back into his stuff. Great fish, yeah. Slot fish, but a pretty good one. All right, and there he is. Beautiful little fish, nice slot fish. Check out the blue on that tail. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but just nice blue tail, beautiful fish. Look at that, yeah. Top water, you can't beat it. It's so much fun and it's so effective, especially in the stained, dirty water. Uh, I mean, the fish just see it better. Well, that got her in the gills, but luckily we're trying to have a fish fry tonight back at uh, PAC. So this guy is gonna go in the cooler. It's gonna be dinner. Pretty positive. The slot here is 16 inches to 27 inches. That is the range you can keep them in. And uh, this guy should meet that no problem. Yep, 
21 and a half inch red. Make sure that he is secure in the cooler. Top water bite is on. I'm sure I could be catching these guys easier on something else, but why would I do that when they're hitting the top water this aggressively? Got some dolphins working in here. One thing I always say, if you see dolphins inshore, go the other way. The fish don't bite when they're around. It scares them. These dolphins are hunting the same fish I am. I've seen them tossing slot redfish into the air, speckled trout. They just uh, terrorize them. So they're right here at the entrance of this. If they come in here, I'm gonna leave here. Uh, it's just not worth it, but I'm hoping they kind of stay in the deeper channel. Yeah, there he is. All right, see if we can't get some more fish in this top water. on so I just broke off the spook I threw it at the grass where uh, I saw a redfish bust and uh, I threw it a little too far it broke off yeah so I followed it up with the popping cork and uh, sure enough he hit it there he is I gotta go get my spook it's in the grass over there somewhere where I broke it off I just grabbed the closest rod to me it was the popping cork a little gulp shrimp on it easy easy technique to hit Popped it about five times. There's my rod with my, no lure on it. Popped it about five times and uh, he and uh, I just started running to the right. I knew he had it. Pretty good fish. Uh, decent guy. So I got separated from the rest of the NRS fishing team. Uh, I'm on a stand up paddle board and they're all in kayaks. They got motors and pedals and all this stuff. So I just kind of decided to quit chasing them down. <laughs> and uh, let them do their thing, let me do my thing. So I've just been kind of playing the wind to my advantage. They keep going into the wind and it's just uh, really inefficient for me, but uh, just decided to kind of go my own way and uh, I just heard that they haven't caught any and uh, that's number four or five for me so far. So it's going well. There we go. Nice, beautiful little slot fish. You can hear them drumming. And uh, yeah, just an, uh, annihilated the, the gulp under the popping cork. The, the cork started running to the right really fast. Um, and actually I noticed that when he ran, he spooked about three more. Now I don't know that they'll bite now that, uh, you know, they kind of got spooked, but we're gonna see. Sit here for a second, see if we can't pull another one out of the same little spot. But first we'll measure this guy, make sure he's legal. We're gonna have a little fish fry tonight. 22 and a half. All right, we'll stick him in the bison cooler, keep him fresh, and uh, yeah, he's gonna be dinner. You join us, buddy. I need to go get my spook back, but before I do that, I wanna make another cast up in there and see if uh, those two or three that spooked happen to still be in there. Worth a shot before we kinda blow this spot up by paddling in there. Cast out in front of it, and three quick pops, just so they know it's there, and then give them a minute to come find it, and then maybe one subtle hop. Then I'll maybe do two quick hops. And a lot of this is letting it sit. I see a wake behind it, heading the wrong way. the anchor I like a little short anchor really short rope it's only a foot deep and I put crab float so I don't lose the rope in the muck but I want to stay here there's fish in the area see that I landed that about a foot off the grass let it sit when it lands a lot of times it'll get hit right away and then just give it a pop if nothing give it a pop 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 and make sure that the fish nearby know it's there There it is. Oh, oh he, t 
took it under. I missed the hook set. Came back for it. Oh, he's throwing me all over. It's decent fish. Only way I've been able to catch him is something that makes noise. So the spook for a while I was throwing, um, and that if I got it close enough to the grass, that commotion would bring them out of the grass and they'd come hit it. Well, I broke off the spook, and there's fish busting all around me in the grass, like I'm talking about. God, the bugs are out of control. And uh, so I put on the only other thing I had tied on that ha makes noise, and that's the popping cork. And uh, I mean, just that right there was textbook. Saw it swirl, landed about one foot off the grass so I wouldn't spook him. And um, you know, there he is. Oh, he's, he's pretty decent. Oh yeah, he's, he's, oh, he's good. It's big fish of the day, I think. Oh, 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 in the net and out the net. Oh yeah, big fish of the day for sure. He's probably over slot. Yeah. <laughs> nice, they are chewing. Oh, this is so much fun right now. The top water was fun, but that right there is a much better caliber fish. That's more along the lines of what we're looking for here in the promised land. Great fish. Nice. Lee done. Oh, yeah. Oh, these bugs are hurting me. Oh, I'm having too much fun right now stalking these reds. I mean, I'm not seeing them. I'm not even seeing wakes, but I'm still side casting because these fish are just exploding on stuff uh, up in the grass. They're just way up in there. So I had to kind of get creative, figure out how to get a presentation. Um, I realized that I couldn't get a present. Oh, he choked it too. Ow. I realized that I couldn't get a presentation that would actually look good uh, on top of them. So instead I went the other approach and tried to have something that made noise and would lure them out to me. And uh, that has been the ticket and the difference today. Tons of fun. Buddy. God, it can't fit in the cooler. Uh, running out of room in the 25 quart. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Oh man, all right guys, real talk, real quick. Few fish inshore and you don't throw the spook. You are doing yourself a disservice. It is highly effective in shallow water. It's great because it doesn't get hung up, unless of course you cast it into the reeds like I did and the reason it broke off, but I got it back. And if you don't have a popping cork tied on, now a lot of people are like, ah, catching fish on a popping cork is lame. Man, anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. So anyone here that's a beginner, if you've never seen this, a popping cork, I did a really old video where I kind of explained how to work it, but you basically pop it, these beads kind of make it rattle. Sounds like bait fish. And so any redfish or trout or really anything that's nearby, it really works best in dirty water like the entire Gulf Coast from Alabama to here. You wanna land it close to the fish you're trying to go after, or if you don't know, it's great to blind cast also, because basically it draws fish in from up to, in my experience, 25 feet away. They hear that noise, I see one over there. They hear that noise and they come towards it and then they find whatever you got on the bottom. Any soft plastic will work. I like, this is a gulp shrimp. Um, if not, get you some Procure which I've got out, shrimp flavor. In fact, I'm gonna reapply it right now. But basically, you want something with some scent because it's not gonna have a ton of action. But when you pop that uh, cork, it kind of makes this shrimp hop up and down. And so they get drawn in by the sound of the cork. They come in, they find this thing dangling below it. And you basically wanna tie your leader based on the depth of water. You want this thing to kind of be just on the bottom or just off of it. So if you're in one foot of water, you'd make a one foot leader, etc. But um, those two techniques today where everyone else is struggling have been the ticket and uh, I'm really having no problem getting these fish to bite. So uh, tons of fun. Sounds like it is time for us to go. They're all meeting back there at our mothership. I uh, really don't want to, the fish are here. So I'm gonna stop running my trap. Oh, 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 they're everywhere. And uh, I'm gonna try to catch one or two more before uh, they force me to go back. I don't wanna go. I'm having fun right now. Don't make me leave. Howdy. Mm. 
hand it to me and I'll hook it up front and then I'll hand it back to you and you hook it to the back of me. Okay. Did you catch one at all today? I got nine. Really? Yeah, I got four in the cooler under my ass right now. Got one good one, but it was so far back up in the skinny sh I had to be able to I'm see I'm leaving them, but man, there. I could definitely get us a fifth, but <laughs> out of time. All right, well, my Marsh taxi has arrived. My buddy Fluke Master Gene Jensen. You're good. Got the torpedo motor on the Bonafide, and he has been gracious enough, gentlemanly enough, to come pick up my handicap butt. But uh, what a fun day. Catching red. Started off with quite the workout. I'm struggling, kind of getting used to the board, but ended up being pretty killer. If you guys for some reason have not seen Fluke Master's YouTube channel, check him out. He is teaching the world to fish. Yesterday he was helping Jamie figure out how to work a spook. Super knowledgeable angler. Worth a follow. Link down in the description. Right now he's my best friend. <laughs> Oh snap, Gene just hooked into a monster right here in overtime. Look at that, looks like the big fish of the day and it is working him. And there it is. <laughs> That's a red fish and a half there, buddy. Woo! <laughs> Nicely done. Caught him on one of them Cajun lure minnows that he gave me. All right, so I managed to get on some fish today. I think I caught nine, brought four back. Stop bragging. The other guys uh, <laughs> had some struggles. I caught the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so now Miss Jamie Costa is gonna fillet the fish up. And uh, we'll probably do one on the half shell, grill them on the Traeger. That or blacken. Yeah, so leave the, the scales on, the, on yeah. yeah. So we're going to be grilling these redfish up on the half shell. If you saw my sheephead catch and cook video, we did them the same way. It's one of my favorite ways to cook up inshore fish. So Jamie's going to leave the skin and scales on one side of the fish. We'll throw it on Jameson's Traeger and uh, just kind of season the one side. And those skin and scales kind of help protect the meat from the harsh heat of the grill. One of my favorite fish to eat. They're delicious. Great things about these Traeger grills from Jay Brooks and Megan Lorraine when I was staying with them. This side, there's another coming. What are you doing to these uh, I'm just, uh, half shells? I'm just touching them a little bit. I'm gonna touch them a little bit. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some stuff on them. They like it. What, some kind of secret? Oh, like can't the, go wrong. He nah. lives right down the road. I'm trying to get that Tony sponsorship. I use this stuff on everything. Yeah, it's kicked up a little bit. Uh, I, honestly, I think you're good. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, bro. Oh. Yeah. Always. Great seeing you, man. You. I gotta come back to the pumpkin patch. Yeah, you know y'all are welcome anytime. Matthew Van, you saw the uh, Pensacola nighttime redfish episode. Killed it. Warm out. Warm out. That was, I don't think I've giggled that hard in one night in my whole life. That was looking for a trip. All right, we'll see you guys. <laughs> see you, man. That magic touch. That secret sauce. The grease on there because it cracked. It also catches on fire. Keep the whiskey. What'd you say? Drink yeah, it so that it comes out comes out. <laughs> right. It keeps the bugs away. Loud. <laughs> Y'all probably think we're joking. The amber romance, really. It does. Get on. Yeah. Go buy some online. It works. Um, sand fleas and sand mats. And Here, just uh, whatever they call them. Yeah. All works for mosquitoes. It does not work for these things. 